Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be a read for you and who, okay? Now that other person that who uh, could be a friend or family member, could be a boyfriend, girlfriend, it could be, uh, you know, uh, one side of a situation or another, right? Whether you've got love on the brain or not, uh, it even could be a person of interest. So do note that, okay? This will be a general read for the second half of March, okay? And uh, I am looking forward to see what's in store for you, okay? Um, now, if you're looking for a uh, personal read that taps into your own personal energies, go to theguidedintuitive.com up here or in my description box below. Okay, and do check out our new membership site and our classes. Check it out below. Uh, and those of you, of course, that are looking to really make a change and want a, an accountability partner in the process uh, to keep you on focus, on par to your objectives, goals, and desires and dreams that you're looking to uh, really fulfill. Some of you, uh, and you know, within this year, you know, for some of you. So if that's the case, I uh, check out our discovery session too. Okay, and that's in my description box below as well. It's a complimentary, uh, you know, session that allows us to have some one-on-one. Time and make a recommendation. Uh, and if you're a good fit for one of our programs, invite you in for that. Okay. All right. So uh, what is in store for you here? What's going on with cancer? Okay. I'm a cancer moon, so I'm interested to see what's going on too. All right. So let's do this. All right. So we've got uh, kind of moving away. Okay. So this is actually, uh, you know, moving on to calmer waters. Okay. So uh, perhaps there's been a situation. Uh, this is kind of the air energy. Um, Aries Leo, excuse me, Gemini Libra or Aquarius. And this is moving on to calmer waters, the six of swords. Now, the interesting thing is that the sixes are about growth. And it's because of the growth that you've gone through that you feel that it is your best interest to kind of row away. Okay, just row away into a little bit more calmer waters uh, that is a little bit better for you. Now, we're going to see what else wants to come out. But let's uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like you've been through something that you're trying to get your rest at right now. It's kind of like you're moving on. Uh, you're not, you're, I think you've ended some sort of cycle, I feel, that's, you know, something has uh, kind of happened to evoke some sort of decision and uh, in you to move on to something else. And you're actually, you know, really praying to the universe, focusing on your source as to, uh, and of course, getting the rest that you need as well um, in the best way to move forward, okay? The best way to move forward. So focusing on one thing at a time, uh, you know, and this is, again, and um, this is a four. So this is about getting your stability back. So that's about getting the rest, getting your stability mentally, physically, and spiritually is what I think. Okay. So let's see what else wants to come out to cancer. Let's see what else is here. Okay. A lot of air energy here. Okay. You might have an air sign in your midst. Okay. Um, this is also a knight of cups and, and perhaps there's someone that is, uh, you know, perhaps you've offered a cup of love to someone. Uh, and uh, because this I feel is you, or you could have a fellow sign coming towards you as well. Well, but I feel that you've maybe made an offer, an honest offer of love to someone, okay? And this is very romantic. It's very charming. It could be coming into you. So if that's the case, guys, note your comments below. I'd love to know, all right? So, but this is uh, 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 this is definitely romantic. Um, it's really an opportunity, uh, uh, especially being the night, it's about motion. So someone's, you know, having some motion that is extremely charming and very romantic towards you, or you're offering that to someone else. Let's see what this Knight of Cups is. Who's this Knight of Cups? Let's clarify what this Knight of Cups is, okay? See what that is for you? Here it is. Yeah, it's like, it's almost as if there's some sort of balancing. Let me, sure, let me turn this off to make sure my... Uh Computers and golf. Okay, good. Uh, this is about balancing. So this is about, you know, balancing, uh, you know, your life, uh, two things. It could be, I don't know, uh, two things in work and, uh, you know, your personal life. Uh, it could be your romantic life and, uh, you know, work to whatever the case, uh, you know, mind and heart. But this is actually just getting balance. Okay. So now it's kind of like you're balancing things out right now and kind of taking on that energy, I really feel. Um, now, it could be that uh, you get an offer and perhaps you felt that this other person uh, was balancing two people. So that could have been the case as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I had to take a drink real quick. Wow. For some reason, it kind of left me <clears throat> kind of uh, my, my throat. I don't know. There's communication, a balancing communication, guys. Um, could very much well be that too. So a balance in communication. What is this two of pentacles? Wow. 
Yeah, it's like um, I feel that maybe perhaps that uh, you've been carrying a lot of the heavy load and this is coming to an end right now. So it just note that, you know, whatever you've been balancing that's been a heavy load for you, which for some of you could be the case, um, just know that it's coming to an end. It's a 10 of wands. And this is actually knowing that you've done everything you possibly can up until this point. And now it's about harvest time. It's about results. It's about or moving on to that next new journey. Okay. So this is what I get. This is a fire type energy. You've done all that hard work and put that energy into a relationship, a situation, um, you know, whatever that is and that you've been very passionate about and you've seen growth in it. Now it's time for let the results speak for themselves. So let's clarify the 10 of wands. What is this here? A knight of pentacles. Okay. So this could be an opportunity of perhaps something, someone coming towards you that is of an earth sign. Um, and it could, you know, because there, because it's a knight here, uh, it could be that, you know, it's some sort of a uh, message, uh, of some sort that it is, you know, slow motion, but very solid. Okay. So a solid opportunity. And that's exactly what I see here. So, um, that's what I see coming through here. And, uh, it's about being very routine oriented, being very efficient, doing what they have to do in order to make things happen. Um, so there is someone that might be offering you an opportunity, an earth sign that could be the case. And this could be romantic or otherwise. Okay. So just uh, kind of throwing that out there. This is beautiful because I really feel that kind of once you, um, you know, put an end to doing everything yourself, you get this opportunity and then you get the sun card that comes out. One of the best cards in the deck, guys, and this really talks about really good vibrations. It's just really wonderful, like a new kid again, right? Very passionate, uh, just a lot of joys here. So whatever is coming into you, an opportunity of some sort, uh, you're feeling really good about it, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some other cards to kind of see where you're at, where you're at right now now fragments so this is about this is about um you know standing back um uh, because you're you don't have the whole picture okay so in in any sort of a relationship or situation that's what this is talking about when i get fra fragments this is about getting a different perception on something okay um and this is telling me that it's you using your third eye in this process is what I see here, but it is something that there's some sort of influence from the past. It's not what you're doing now, but it's what was done in the past that you're really, um, that is affecting your current situation. Okay. And it's like, you've got, some, there's been some sort of trust issues here. Okay. Some sort of de deception or secrecy was taking place here. Um, but whatever childhood ordeal or, or, or whatever that is, is now brought to light. And, um, this is about kind of drawing your own meaning onto it. Okay. So, uh, this is about taking the time to really, to get to know someone before you jump in, in a relationship or situation. So take it slow when it comes to love. If you have an opportunity coming towards you, cancer, take your time on this. This is what the card is, le is letting you know that, you know, give, there's parts of yourself you have yet to realize. So take it slow. Um, all right. Uh, because that's what's coming into play. All right. Um, this is about really learning more about your inner self and how that's played a role in your life. And then perhaps any changes that you might want to make in that. Uh, but in this process, go slow. Okay. So go slow. Uh, anything else that wants to come out for you here? Let's see what else. Okay. Abundance is pouring into your life. So this is good. Remember I talked about like at the end of the 10 of swords, oh, excuse me, the end of um, the 10 of wands here. I felt that now it's about waiting for abundance and boom, there we go. Okay. So we've got the abundance and no wonder it's making you feel really good. So this is harvest time. This is to get back what you've already put into something. It could be a relationship, a situation. This is a harvest time. And this is saying you have infinite abundance that is coming towards you and it's actually pouring into your life. So this is really beautiful. I love seeing this for you. Uh, anything else that wants to come out from these cards? Let's see here. Take your first step. This wants you to take your first step and continue to move forward. So um, what this wants you to do is to uh, begin now on your trail, whatever that is uh, that wants to come and play for you. This is beautiful, uh, Cancer, because this is now that now that the abundance has come your way, now you're able to set up, you know, put your right foot in front of the other and start down that trail, okay? And that's what this is talking about. Begin now. Uh, so there you have it. How interesting. Anything else that wants to come through for you here? 
okay? Listen. So this is about listening to yourself, okay? Uh, this is about communication. So maybe you have communication with someone, a person, you know, place or thing, whatever that is for you. But what this is saying is that it's really going to be really important that you listen to someone, um, to listen to, to listen more than you speak. And I think that that's going to be a big factor uh, within this process, okay? Because this is telling me that um, it's about you, you seeking to understand at this time, right? And uh, it's dark blue, so obviously it has to do with the throat chakra, right? The throat chakra, all forms of communication, uh, whether it's on text, email, in person, whatever the case may be. But that's what I see here. And this is about allowing yourself uh, to be moved by others, to learn from them, to be changed by them, um, and, uh, you know, to act on them. But at first, it wants you to listen. So if you're in a relationship or a situation, sorry for the glare there, guys. If you're in a relationship or situation, this is basically saying, you know, take time, pause, take a moment to listen. Also listen to your interest, inner self because that's going to be playing a big role for you too, uh, you know, in this process, in, in the growing process. And uh, it could be about, you know, doing some meditation and going within and really listening to um, what wants to come out for you here. Yeah. So just know that listen with love, um, you know, drop any pre, you know, pre um, uh, conceptions of anything of any sort. Uh, because what this wants you to do is uh, delay actions until you've explored another perspective or know the other side of the story. And that's what's going to be key. And then this could be, again, in a relationship or situation. I'm kind of glad I pulled that out because it's, you know, uh, forewarned is forearmed. And it's it's really important just to take things slow. Okay. Let's take a look at this other person on this other side. Okay. Now you may uh, resonate with this other side perhaps more than the other. So feel free to reverse the messages as you see fit. Okay. So this other person, what do we have for them? Here it is. Wow, it might be dealing with the Gemini. Uh, this is also, this other person is um, has all the resources necessary to do whatever he or she needs to do. And this is saying is that, you know, they are able to, uh, uh, they're balanced themselves, they're able to use all their resources. There's nothing more that they need, but they do need to take action, okay? This is beautiful. I love seeing this because uh, this is telling me that this this person has the power within to do what they need to do, but they're 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 being um in, they're they're being um moved to take inspired action in whatever that is in a relationship or in a situation. Okay, so there you have it. Let's see what is this magician card? What wants to come out? Major Arcana for this person on this side too. Okay, yeah, yeah I think it was after that they perhaps uh, they could have cut you out or you cut them out uh, in some way. There would could have been some sort of competitiveness in a relationship, in a work situation, whatever's brought you to my channel. But this is not a this is not a competition. Love's not a competition, right? It's 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 about dropping that because really no one wins in that type of situation. This is about changing that because it's a five card, right? It's about changing this and 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 not having that type of um, attitude anymore. So you can kind of see there's a little smirk on this gentleman's face, and it's kind of like you know, um, you know, it's just basically saying you know, you know, I got this, and you know what, what whatever costs, I got that, you know. So this it's basically saying I think this person is kind of dropping that and realizing that that brought in a lot of cloudy skies. Um, so, um, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy is what I'm getting here or someone that's taking on that energy. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come into play here. Let's see here. Okay. All right. So we've got the two of wands. The twos are about duality. So this is about making progress and discovering uh, the vistas ahead. And, uh, so this person is, you know, kind of dropping, I really feel this type of energy and exploring what they want in the future and what their future looks like. Okay, so the Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius type energy. Uh, energy trumps the sign, guys. I just want to bring that up. Interesting. And then I get the uh, Queen of Swords. So uh, this is someone that's cutting out what's not going to work anymore for them. And so once they take their long look at something, they want to extend an opportunity, but they cut out what's no longer working. Um, so it could be, let's see here. I'm going to look real quick here. 
Yeah, it could be that they're dealing with the Queen of Swords. Uh, you could be taking on that energy to Cancer and cutting something else. You could be showing up on their side over here. Um, but this is about, you know, wanting to negotiate, but we'll cut it out if it doesn't, uh, if it does, if it's not fairness that's involved, okay? Because the Queens are all about influence and, and intellect. They're, uh, they're quick thinking. They're very perceptive, okay? So uh, that's what this person's going to. Who's this Queen of Swords on this other person's side here? What is this? Things are changing. Wow. So if things weren't working before, uh, then things are now about to take a turn for the better and vice versa, guys, too. So if things have been working. Be blessed, be in gratitude to know that it doesn't always the wheel doesn't always just freeze and stay on top. It continues to move. Right. Which is asking, you know, uh, this person to move. But I really think that whatever. Um, was cut out before changes the dynamic of the obviously of the situation and things are turning out a lot better so what wasn't working for them is is now turning out a lot better uh, this card wanted to fly out what is this what is this queen of pentacles they may have a capricorn that they're dealing with right now and i don't know if they're taking on this energy they might be cutting out a capricorn uh taurus or virgo type sign uh earth sign because, uh, you know, with these three, three together, with something changing, this is cutting out. And then the Wheel of Fortune is things are changing. And then I clarified that and I got the, you know, the, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be, this person on this side could be cutting out a Capricorn or they're, you know, in their life and then changing their life uh, for, you know, for the better or for whatever that is. But to change it around. Uh, or they've been influenced by this Capricorn, you know, in the past in some way. So that's how I kind of how I feel. Let me pull some of these other cards here and get the real what's going on in their head on this other side. Let's let's get let's get down on this one here. Okay, let's really figure out perception. Okay, so um, interesting. So I get kind of like. This is interesting. Take a look at this. This is about perception of a relationship or a situation, okay? And sorry for the glare there, guys, all right? So what this tells me is that this is about listen and observe to better understand, um, you know, your ch their chances on this side, okay? So this is, uh, don't be swayed by any reputation or anything. On this side is what this is saying, is that be wary of, uh, um, this person on this side is that it's like, Someone who undermines their, their self-worth is uh, in the world around them. Uh, this is about uh, you know, being careful of that. And this person is really trusting their perceptions right now and their gut feeling and their instinct and their intuitive, uh, you know, the intuitive guide within them. And they are just really focusing on um, making sense of the world uh, and uh, how they perceive it, how they hone in on it. They're using their third eye, as you see here. So perception in this person's eyes, they're thinking that it's like, they're not just looking on the surface of things, they're looking underneath the things and using their intuition and their gut feeling to determine how to move forward in their life. And that's kind of what I see. I want to see if anything else wants to come out within these cards. Anything else? And, and they're focusing on what it is that they want, their manifestations, looking towards the sun, right? And they're looking for guidance to get greater perception. And with that spiritual maturity of the dragonfly on this person's back, I really think that they're soaring to new heights, that they're given that push by the universe. And so if some of you are seeing dragonflies, um, you know, that's really kind of a beautiful thing. Um, they're really, uh, they got that trans translucent wings that are just beautiful. And anytime that the light shines on them, they just shine in all different rays all over the place. And so it's really beautiful. Um, when I learned that this had to do with a lot of spiritual maturity, transformation, yes, um, I really feel that the universe is giving you the nudge into the sun and on this person's side here and uh, elevating their perception to something better that they want that's better suited for them. And I think the wheel of fortune is changing for them. So interesting. Okay. Anything that uh, else that wants to come out for them? This is just insight so you know, okay? They are being cherished by the angels. They're being protected, okay? So right now, whatever it is that they're going through, they're being protected, okay? They must be going through something pretty tough over here on this side here. 
and they are just releasing any control in this relationship or situation and they're enjoying the journey and the process. I think they really believe that there is some sort of divine uh, timing within this situation and they're kind of surrendering to that and kind of being in the flow of this journey. Um, whatever that looks like for them, they're kind of like, you know, okay, wherever this wants to go, I'm open to that, right? And well, the funny thing is, right after I get that, they're going with the flow and there comes to a point where they have set a strategy in place, okay, into what it is that they want. And uh, it's interesting uh, because they want some things to have a groundedness to it so they can grow and flourish just like this card represents. Interesting. So for a particular length of time, they're going to go with the flow for a while until they get to that point where they feel, okay, they are, um, they are inclined in being, uh, you know, kind of, um, uh, pushed into developing some sort of strategy in place. Right. Uh, and, uh, just being very, very thankful, uh, in this process so they could actually get more abundance in their life. I want to see the best way for you to move forward. What's the best way cancer for you to move forward? What does that look like? Yeah, you know, following your beliefs and your tradi tradition, you know, your, your core values. Now that changes at different, you know, stages in our lives. And so it might heed, um, it might be, um, you know, kind of coming about because it's something that uh, you, uh, for you to take a look at at this time, you might be learning from someone or you might be teaching others. So whatever that looks like for you. Um, but this is about really honing in on what are my beliefs now? What are my traditions and, and have they changed? And, and, and because of that template, when you kind of get that down, what that looks like, you're able to make smoother decisions in love, in work and in life, because it's around your set of values and beliefs. So it's easier to make a decision if you don't have those that can kind of keep you, uh, you know, kind of fall, kind of be at default by your emotions. So this really, really helps. So, um, yeah, and this is about change. There's the five cards. So some sort of tradition or values or beliefs are changing for you is what I'm getting, Cancer. Let's see what else wants to come through. And this is good because it's a major iconic card, okay? So this is great. What else? Yeah, um, this is about getting a different perspective because you feel like you're kind of tied in and bound. And this is saying it's going to take a different perspective for you to get out of what you're in right now. Now, for some of you, again, it could be more than just a relationship. It could be a life situation. But this is about growth. It's an eight card, right? And the eights talk about change, actually. Change. Six is growth. Eights talk about change. And when I get the, you know, the uh, swords like this, this is saying, don't isolate you. Don't imprison yourself. Uh, get feedback. Get There is support all around you, I believe. And this is saying is to get a different perce perception. And that's why I think that it was important for you to listen, right? To listen. And that's why that card came up. Because it's real important for you to do that now. Um, because you 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 don't have to do it alone, right? And uh, you've got you know you've got infinite abundance that's coming in right now. You put in a lot of work to some things, and then it, obviously it wants you to uh, begin now. So it wants you to make these changes. What is this Eight of Swords here? This is an Eight of Cups. When I clarify that, it's like an Eight for an Eight. And what's interesting is this tells me is that there is change, a back-to-back -back change. A change of perception leads a change to a decision to walk away from something. Someone or something that you've been putting a lot of emotions into. This could have been a breakup, guys. Uh, I won't lie for some of you, you know, the emotions that were put into something. It could have been a breakup of, of you know, putting your time and effort into a person and just you know, at this time saying, I'm letting it go. And um, so because you know it's in your best interest, you're looking for that 10 of cups, right? You're looking for that 10 of cups and you're moving forward with passion, right? With passion. And, and it's kind of like you want to ground yourself in that foundation of the root chakra and to move forward, okay? This isn't being ground. This is moving away because you want to be more grounded. So there's been some sort of decision um, here, okay? So that's what I say, walking away that, that brings more emotional fulfillment even though it's brought a little bit of disappointment yeah heartbreak guys that's what I, I felt there's been some heartbreak um and that's what you had to walk away from okay so the three of swords really talked about that here's the interesting thing is that you've got a brand new beginning to move forward in love okay you might have an offer from um 
uh, of a fellow water sign doesn't have to necessarily be cancer but it could be scorpio or pisces as well but i do feel that this is a neither a new beginning or someone's coming to you and offering you a cup of love it's now this could be a person that's younger by the way um but they're coming forth with some communication and and um yeah that's what i see here and uh it's also about stability right you're focused on their stability right now as well your best way forward is to walk away from heartbreak get clear on your values listen and um and, and really focus on your stability and what that looks like uh go within and find that you know perspective right on uh, what's going to keep you grounded moving forward uh, and then, um, moving forward with passion on what it is that you want being the top competitor still. So that's what I see here. What was it? What is it that you want to say to this person or what this other person would like to say to you? Here it is. What you want to say to them is I beg you to hear this as me truly wanting to register my feelings, not as an attack on you. So perhaps there's been a lot of miscommunication and there needs to be some good, solid communication. Remember this card came in and listen and I think both sides are kind of, uh, that's the necessary, you know, it's kind of like you want them to hear you. You're not, you know, you're, you're honestly, if that's really how you feel, not looking to make an attack on, on this other person is what this card is saying. So you feel how you have to come from an honest place to say this, uh, because you've got to feel it to say it. But the, the, what this is saying is that I just want to get closer to you. I don't want to have an attack. I just want you to understand what, you know, what, the, what was kind of happening so you can, you know, see where I was kind of coming from. Okay. Uh, it's not your intention to, uh, have anything of, um, any sort of argument. Um, this is, that's unnecessary is what, how you feel in this, right? So, uh, yeah. And what would this other person want to say to you? Here it is. What is it? I can see that my anger has been destructive and that I've really hurt you. Wow. Wow. How interesting. This is, this, is, I will tell you, there is nothing fancy here. Um, you know, especially on the face of it with this other person here. Um, yeah, this is a, yeah. Yeah, this is basically saying, um, I know that I've, uh, you know, that they're owning up to themselves. They're really owning up to themselves and they're really understanding that they have, you know, been destructive and they've hurt you and that actually hurts them too. Okay. So that's what I get guys. How interesting. Note your comments below. I'd love to know and I look forward to seeing you in April and until then, namaste.